Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So I thought I'd go ahead and just see what wants to come out in your reading. I don't know, like, I haven't done a general reading, collective reading on my channel in a while. I've been sticking to the pick of cards because I accommodate my viewers who I know prefer the pick of cards, but I am feeling like and <clears throat> I should be telling a specific story like someone's energy is coming through and the story, their story wants to be told. And I don't know how many people it's going to resonate with because when we do that, you know, it does tend to be more on the specific side. But if you're here, there's a message for you, okay? So just take what resonates, forget what doesn't. General reading. So I'd like to thank everyone who has supported the channel by liking and subscribing. Uh, you guys are rock stars. I appreciate you. And then those of you who've gotten readings from me personally through my email address and those of you who have gone on Keen for the $1 for 5 minutes deal, that is also very appreciated. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and use a Numinous deck. And that's Astrological Placements. And maybe that can help you to pick. Otherwise, you can pick from the thumbnail, the timestamps, your intuition, whatever you want to do to pick. But if you wanted to pick from these cards as well, for groups 1, 2, and 3... I guess we are going to do sort of something like a collective for each group, if that makes sense. Uh, regular watchers of tarot readings will probably know kind of what I mean. So for group one, we've got Gemini, Butterfly, Curious, Versatile, Adaptive, Restless, Fidgety. Okay, so you could have that Sun, Moon, and, or Rising, or your person of interest, because you probably have a person of interest, let's be honest, um, may have that. If you don't, if you're one of those rarities that don't, then maybe this is talking about somebody that's coming in, or someone from your past, whatever the case may be. Let's get started in that reading and we'll find out. For group two, we've got Cancer. So somebody here could be on the Gemini Cancer cusp or have both of those qualities. I do like to think of Gemini. I'm, un I'm undecided whether or not I feel like in numerology the Gemini is a two or a three. I kind of feel lean towards three. Okay, uh, life path or and six for the Cancer. The doula, um, feeling... A feeling person, sympathetic, a mother, intuitive, defensive, introverted, family-oriented, moody. So my cancer peeps. So even if you don't have these placements, if it resonates with you in some way, that could be calling out to you. And then we've got square, so this is a astrological placement challenge. Creates tension, stalls, sounds the alarm, demands, hurts, works out, reconciles. Interesting, interesting. So the point of the squares. Uh, is to work something out, um, to highlight something in order to work it out and to uh, kind of come to peace or terms with it. Positivity if you need more time to choose, otherwise I'm starting with Gemini. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Welcome group ones, so let's see what's going to come out for you. This is a love reading, but you know, if I get messages about money or anything else like that, I'll mention it. So let's go ahead and look into the viewer, those who chose group one, sort of like their love life situations at present, past, I guess we can look at the past, like where you're coming from as well, some past situations. Let's kind of get like a foundation for the reading here. We've got justice. I was picking up on Libra energy, so some of you could be involved with the Libra, be Libras yourself, involved with Gemini perhaps. You could have signed um, some paperwork with this person, as in living with them or married to them, divorce, anything like that. But essentially this is about uh, fair treatment, seeing the truth, making a judgment, um, coming to terms, maybe collecting some information, or just simply getting to know somebody better and then being able to make a clear judgment um, from that. And, you know, based on the truth that you sought um, and gained in that situation. So some karma at play. Maybe you consider yourself to have been with a karmic in the past. Maybe presently you consider that. Um, but it is about, you know, a cause and effect. So presently, what is your love life? Looks like it's going well. So if it isn't, then maybe this isn't your reading. She's a different group. Otherwise, perhaps this is coming in for you. You can claim it because this is a very positive card. I'm talking about sun clarity. And like I said before, I feel like you've gotten some clarity. Some of you could have been dealing with an F boy or an F girl in the past. You got clarity on that and you're like happier without them. Some of you have met someone that, you know, that not necessarily an F boy, but maybe somebody that's not ready to settle down. Maybe you're just having a good time. You're having fun. The sun card is all about fun. It's about having a good time with somebody, kind of escaping your woes and your troubles and really just kind of 
um, pursuing, you know, good times. And I'm getting a vacation or a trip for somebody here as well. But whatever you're doing, it just feels like childlike fun, good old fashioned fun, as well as like passion as well. A lot of indulgence in the pleasures of life. So I don't know, some of you could be um, really enjoying that right now. Okay. We do have the three of swords. It could be a third party situation or somebody here is, um, there's that three energy for three life path back to the Gemini energy for me. Um, could be suffering. So it could be that somebody has moved on from the situation or um, some one of you is happy, the other one is not, that kind of a thing. So one of you is having a grand old time and the other one's left at home or just, you know, not having as good of a time. Okay. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Don't have to be or somebody with that strong in their chart. What's he doing? He could be married. He could be having his eye on marrying you if that's the case. There's some sort of transformation coming in. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Okay. So this is somebody that really has their eye on an empress. The empress is that mother figure energy. She is a resource to whoever she's with. She's a caregiver. She's abundant. Um, and she's somebody that, you know, people can really draw from her energy because she has so much to give. She's so abundant. Okay, often often very beautiful. He seems to be thinking that because he's checking her out pretty good here. Tell me more about. Could be that he's walking away from from this empress, or he is walking away from something that didn't work out for him. So, and this could be talking about you too, as you know, it's a gender neutral reading, but apply you know how it resonates masculine and feminine energies. He's a masculine energy, and it's eight of cups, like leaving leaving something behind, being disillusioned. Um, and just kind of like, in a sense, being happy because there is a, an element of happiness with the Eight of Cups because it's like, I have been disillusioned. I have seen the truth, right? So I've seen the truth. I've gotten clarity. And even though it sucks, you know, that, um, you know, I kind of dealt with a messy situation. At least now I know that I know what to do, right? And that's to uh, move forward towards my happiness. This chick over here, this is a little Miss Empress, whoever that is pertaining to, uh, if this is your reading, it should resonate somehow, way, shape, or form, um, is feeling high on the hog, you know, feeling victorious, okay? So that's interesting going on there. So feeling victorious. It's not entirely like, um, you know, an authentic victoriousness. It's a temporary victoriousness. Um, but it is a step in the right direction for her, whoever she is, whoever this energy is. Um, so could have gotten a promotion at work or is just being celebrated amongst friends, but there is some kind of shady energy that comes with the six of wands. And it could be that somebody is involved with a king of pentacles. So maybe she's taking a step in the right direction, uh, that she feels is the right direction. Perhaps maybe is with this king of pentacles, earth sign energy. Interesting. Okay. So that's that third party energy coming out again. King of Pentacles is talking. He's talking about her and he's talking to her. He's observing her. It's like these two men are observing her. So if that is you, you're the Empress identifying with that Libra Taurus energy regardless of sign. Um, you know, you're beautiful, you're, you're attractive, this energy. So you could be dealing with two different masculines, two different people, okay? Um, maybe one of them you don't know yet, but I feel like you do. And this could be talking about somebody else. I feel like you would know who that is if that's the case. This King of Pentacles energy is observing and trying to learn what he can about her. What is he talking about? He's talking about a tough situation where there's maybe, maybe been some mistreatment going on, an argument, um, mind games, control issues. It does feel like he feels that it's with her whether it has been or not. So somebody here is feeling like the feminine in the situation, like if it's you and this is your story, that you've been manipulative, okay? Whether you have or not. And if so, even if you haven't been manipulative towards this person, this person is watching you and they feel like, um, passive they want you to take the lead they don't want to do anything wrong okay it could all be in their own mind they've got this whole scenario this game going on in their mind that they feel like you would do x y and z or that you have done so or this is how it would work out like they just don't know they're trying to understand 
Um, overall energies, though, in your present love life, where this is coming in, is positive. Because we've got the world card here, and also we have the sun card, so two of the best cards of the deck. It kind of really overrides any of the confusion or maybe not so great energies in the reading. And we've got the page of um, pentacles, which is like dating for funsies, okay? She's somebody that's very sensual. Um, her energy is one that is also eager, eager, blah, eager to learn. So maybe this could be a fresh start for somebody. Um, or the getting to know you phases or getting to know you again phases where she but it does feel a little bit you know kind of um, just playful youthful um, there is a bond here it does feel a little bit um, like you feel the special connection with one another but um, I'm not seeing a lot of action here I guess I could say it's not a whole lot of action here Except for maybe having fun and romping in the sun, that kind of thing. <laughs> having a good time, seeking pleasure, experiencing pleasure with one another. I guess that's action. Um, and then the walking, the walking away and seeking like better days ahead. And um, I feel like there has some, been some things that have been overcome or soon will be and that will lead to some happiness here. And we do have this equal give and take sort of situation. So again, balancing of the scales. Um, so with the six of pentacles, it's like you scratch my back, I scratch yours. And in this case, somebody could be getting, um, some sort of a solid offer. So we've got the very positive ace of pentacles and it is, um, a card of like material money, things like that. Something like practical, like a practical, solid offer being made. See how he's, I mean, the picture speaks for itself in the six of pentacles, um, giving a, perhaps a gift or just saying, Hey, let's, um, let's really do this. Let's. Uh, start something or uh, take this to the next level but it feels more like early days start something if somebody could have been with this person for a year or longer you could have known this person for a year or longer so it does feel like we're talking about you okay so if you're like oh I've got this other I've got this person I'm interested in but they're with somebody else or um, they're married or engaged or I wonder if they're going to get married or engaged yada yada no I feel like this is a solid offer related to you okay so it may take time this might be the one that you end up with this might be somebody like I said before you have a bond with they feel it too but even if things haven't been happening a lot lately you know this person is as I'm hearing getting around to making an offer to you um, and I feel like it would be welcomed by you because it feels like um, like you know that this is kind of something that was going to come back around or that was going to start up but i think you're going to take it easy take it you know be careful and whatnot in the situation yeah i feel like you're very devoted to this person could be also devoted to your money <laughs> devoted to work but when we're talking about love this is about devotion to someone and wanting to make sure that you know your devotion is reciprocated so that it's not wasted and so I do feel like this is you. I feel like, you know, maybe things have been in the shadows. You could have been sneaking around with this person. Um, you could be maybe sneaking to watch this person's social media or to keep up with them, vice versa. They could be doing that too. I already talked about somebody watching someone else. Um, but it is moving forward again. We've got more validation for a trip and um, also uh, moving forward to someplace better, an escape actually. So maybe somebody's escaping a bad relationship or just a bad time in their life. But you could be Virgo, have it strong in your chart, don't have to be. You could have an eight life path or be born on the eighth of the month. Um, but with this, you could also be a Leo. I'm just throwing out the signs that are coming to me. Obviously, you can be any sign. But um, don't overthink the situation. It feels like somebody over here is maybe losing sleep over this. Uh, maybe you've experienced some sort of a nightmare type situation with that three of swords we saw earlier. But also you've seen the light. And so, you know, I feel like this is related to your love life because you seem happy. Things feel good. Like things are coming into a time of a lot of positivity if they're not already like, even if it's not related to your love life, like maybe you're just feeling good as a person with your friends, family, your work, whatever. But um, the sun is there for your love life talking about clarity and good times ahead. So there's no reason to overthink think anything don't shoot yourself in the foot don't self-sabotage what's going on in the future here uh future love situation We've got the moon so it's kind of like we're not going to tell you the answer use your intuition figure it out in time kind of thing let it develop over time and i don't feel like that's going to be a surprise to anybody with the temperance it means that you just have this feeling that you know your love life's going to evolve in a certain way if you have someone on your mind that you're just going to end up with them one day or there's a good possibility of that happening 
um, the moon is talking about, though, um, subconscious fears, and that goes along with the Nine of Swords. Just don't, don't let your subconscious fears shoot you in the foot. If somebody is sabotaging this relationship, you know, it's talking about their subconscious fears, and maybe they don't even know why they act the way that they do. They've got some things to work out. This card can even indicate the need for therapy or talking to someone, just really getting clear. We did see clarity, though, so I don't feel like, um, I feel like somebody here in the situation has gotten clarity, and that's good. But you can get clarity in one area of your life and not um, get it in the other and that's absolutely true so um, moon energy is kind of like ask again later type energy but not like tomorrow and don't binge watch a bunch of pick a card readings but it is talking about um, you know things being hidden not coming to light it feels very stressful and I feel like it has to do with somebody's subconscious intimacy issues like if you're picking tough relationships third-party situations people that can't commit to you people that you have to wait a long time for X Y and Z fill in the blank um, that might be related to you're maybe feeling like you don't deserve love or um, it's just that self-sabotaging overthinking anxiety type deal you know playing out and what it's saying is subconsciously you might um, pick or if, if this is your person flat flip flop vice versa um, somebody picks difficult situations in order to be able to keep people at arm's length because how can you get truly intimate and close with someone if everything's a mess all the time right the two of cups though is also saying that there is romantic love here for you going forward too and it looks like a date, a passionate date, and you will be both be feeling each other equally. So that's good. Six, Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups both talk about mutual feelings um, and some re reciprocity there. And eventually it's likely that um, you will settle down with this person. Yeah, we got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. That doesn't ha happen very often. It's happened a couple of times on my channel. It hasn't happened in a while. So what that's saying is not only will you, you know, have, um, you know, a solid foundation materially and money-wise with this person and be able to leave a legacy um, with this person. And I feel like it's contingent on getting over intimacy issues. But once that happens, um, you're going to have basically have it all, you know. So not downplaying it. It's good. So I'm going to keep it good. Ten of Pentacles. Uh, and somebody could have two strong in their chart, right, in their numerology and numbers, stuff like that. The Ten of Cups is about e emotional fulfillment. It is about, both these cards about having a family. Um, families can take many forms, but it is that feeling of family and it is that feeling of um, being very emotionally fulfilled with one another and just really feeling like all is right with the world. And um, not just emotionally, but materially, practically speaking as well okay so that's pretty good i like that for you guys if the reading is resonating please hit the like button and subscribe it does support the channel and help to keep it going and um i'm just gonna go ahead and get you an advice card i think yeah let's get you an advice card work together three of pentacles you know you're different but complementary you know you bring different things to the table but that's good right um so what it's saying is you you can make a wonderful team okay there might still be somebody lurking there's this energy of somebody lurking in the background because this guy's here in the background watching them you know um put up the sign for their studio pickford fairbank studio that they've they're they're building it together so it could be somebody waiting in the wings uh i don't want again don't be paranoid maybe you already know that and you're nine of swords over it but um that's not going to serve you this is saying that just recognize that um you and this person make a good partnership but it also is going to be kind of the kind of relationship and probably already is that includes other people um mostly going forward it will be um your family members um your close friends um and your business you could possibly work with this person in the future but you'll definitely be building a relationship with them and that's what they're saying basically is to recognize your strengths that you bring to the table but also recognize this person's strengths and be compromising and um, fair in the situation which i don't think you're going to have a problem being okay so give me a second Let's get you one last card. So I just 
want a song that will represent and clarify whatever needs to be clarified for those who chose group one. Tell us more about this reading, please. One final message here. Ace of Pentacles. So definitely a new beginning here. We've also got the Nine of Pentacles here as well. So you could be doing very well for yourself financially. Some of you are in the Eight of Pentacles energy where you're really mastering something and getting good at it. And you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of your hard work paying off. Um, and others of you are past that stage and you're really doing well for yourself. This could be talking about your person as well. Um, but that cycle of being single, you know, you're going to do well for yourself financially and um, personally. Um, before you get into this, like really, uh, you know, nail this down or solidify this relationship into what we see it turning into with the Two of Cups, Ten of Cups, and Ten of Pentacles, okay? And then there would be that new beginning, and that's talking about, again, just letting you know that there's going to be a solid offer, solid new beginning that you can trust, and you are worthy of it, okay? So I want to get you the song that that goes with. Called lucky man lucky man the verve so you can look up that song listen to it might have additional messages for you you could stick around for group two if you like otherwise check out the playlist link down below and again you can get that one dollar for five minutes link down below as well and i'll talk to you guys next time thanks for tuning in Hey, welcome group two. If you chose the Cancer, the Doula card, this is your reading. We did have some Cancerian energy come out in group one, so if you were guided to group one, you can check group one out as well. Might have additional messages for you, but let's just go ahead and get into this. Reminder, it is a general reading. Apply it how it resonates, okay? I know there's some confusion sometimes. Um, you know, people, especially if they're new to divination, you know, they might get a little confused about X, Y, and Z. So that's why you just kind of like pay attention. And sometimes you need to watch reading back once or twice if it resonates with you, but for it to make sense. I noticed that as well with my private clients. I did have one person, quick anecdote, um, call me and the outcome for them, they asked if it was over with their person. And the answer was no, it wasn't over. But as we got more into it, it showed that, you know, it wouldn't last forever. And then this person was like, well, that's contradictory because at the beginning you said it wasn't or you said we'd be together. And now you're saying we're not. And it's like, no, hon, <laughs> I said it wasn't over right now. OK, basically, doesn't mean you're going to be together forever. Right. Um, especially in light of the relationship it was pretty bad. So uh, I don't think it should have been a surprise, but, you know. People don't think straight. They're not very logical most of the time. When, you know, mat in matters of the heart, and I understand that. Some of them are logical. Okay, but anyways, somebody needed to hear something like that. So for my people who chose this group, we're just going to kind of look at what's going on for my group twos. Nine of, nine of Pentacles. So it looks like, you know, you are a person in your own right. Or you have been you could have been in relationships some of you are going through a breakup right now actually it could be with an Aries it doesn't have to be also Virgo energy here um, or you recently did okay or, yeah that's what I'm getting but it was kind of like a style over substance kind of relationship where maybe somebody's doing everything right you know so the man is I'm just gonna say man woman because it's easier the man 
pulls out the chair, he opens the car door, he, he offers his coat, he brings the red roses, he brings, you know, all that stuff. And everything is technically on paper very good, but there's a lack of emotional connection there. And that's cool if maybe that's all you want. But if you are the one that has like um, that cancer energy, you know, let's face it, most cancers, especially the feminines, do not want just that. Um, and you could be, you know, here because your person is this way. And maybe you were the one that was like, yeah, I'm cool with it being a little bit more um, surface level because we enjoy each other's company and it's very sensual and it's very luxurious in many ways and things like that. And we get along, but um, you, you, you weren't, somebody just wasn't ready for deeper. Okay, so we've got the Four of Swords. It wants to come out in reverse. I wonder if we're supposed to take it in reverse. It doesn't look like we are, okay? Um, in reverse, it would talk about, so I think it's you coming out of a kind of a stagnation period in your love life. That's what it feels like, okay? So maybe you had retreated or your person, if you've got someone on your mind, which let's face it, most who watch do have someone on their mind, but your energy for your love life right now is um, a period of rest, a solitude, recovery. Again, I feel like somebody has been through a breakup recently or is even currently going through that. But some of you, especially if you resonated with kind of like a style over substance type of relationship that I just described, especially if you resonate with that, you're not going to be in this place of having to withdraw. Maybe you're just contemplating, maybe they're just contemplating um, this withdrawal period. I don't feel like it's going to last very long for most of you. Okay, I feel like you're going to get, um, you know, restless and want to come out of that energy. If you are feeling anxious or burned out, this is a sign that you need to kind of give love a break, okay? Your, your soulmate is still going to be there after you're done, you're done resting and recovering from your life, relationships, or both, whatever it is, okay? So, oh, the lovely moon card again. The moon card, well, that's Cancerian energy, so you could just be talking about, you know, more Cancer energy to let us know because that came out in an important um, position in the last reading okay another connection to the last reading i think it came out in the i want to say not to give it away but come on um <laughs> this isn't i mean you know i don't know it's not like a spoiler right because this isn't a movie i guess uh readings can and often i mean they are a story that we tell right the more cards we pull the more pages we turn so to speak um but I felt like in the first part, it was talking about a mystery um, in, in that, I think it was the outcome position. It was very frustrating, but you have to hang in there and be kind to each other in the meantime because you're not meant to know. With this, it's saying kind of the same thing. That it's a mystery you're, you're, not, you're not meant to know. Um, you need to watch out for illusions and be careful and stay grounded in reality because with the moon energy, it's kind of hard to see what's real sometimes. Um, yeah, so it could be just kind of like, again, with this, with the Four of Swords and the Moon, can talk about someone being, um, not being emotionally present or, um, you know, not, things just not being as good as they were before in the past. So maybe you had better relationships in the past. Nine of, Pent Nine of Pentacles is definitely a better uh, vibe for a relationship than the Moon is. So maybe you're kind of feeling like, you know, you're never going to meet. Um, the one or you're never going to have what you want or whatever is wrong in the situation you're going through a dry spell perhaps and you're thinking that you know it's never going to get better and it's heartbreaking it's confusing um something along those lines okay just for examples so it's very important for you to give yourself grace and have compassion for yourself and get over the resentment and the blame that might be occurring in some of you for what's happened or transpired but um let's go ahead and look at say you have like Okay, we got the Six of Cups. You could be stuck on somebody from your past. You don't have to be. Um, but the Six of Cups is Scorpio energy as well. So maybe a Cancer and Scorpio relationship. With it being kind of coming out in the reverse, it's kind of like just living in the past, being naive, unrealistic, having unrealistic expectations. So if that doesn't resonate with you, it could be somebody that you have dealt with or somebody you're going to deal with in the future. Now, I don't feel like this is somebody that you're going to deal with in the future. I feel like you already know this person or is even talking about you, especially if you're strong water energy. Okay. Um, I feel like this is somebody that you already know that perhaps has walked away from the connection. Um, 
this person does feel anxious about the connection though Okay, remember a moment ago I said there was anxiety. So whatever this King of Cups energy is, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, could be a masculine, doesn't have to be. They are feeling anxious, but they're also feeling passive. So are they going to take any actions towards this? With the Page of Cups. They might reach out, make an awkward gesture towards you, um, but really they'd like you to take the lead. And if you're taking the lead, they want you to continue to take the lead. If you walked away, they want you to come back. Um... If they walked away, they do want to make a gesture, but it'd be like an awkward little gesture. Some affectionate nonetheless, because I don't feel like this person... Yeah, I don't feel like this person is ready for uh, a deeper relationship um, with you, okay? So if this is somebody you're in a serious relationship with and you already know that, yada yada, choose a different group, but maybe this isn't the reading for you. That's cool too. Um, because this person on the board here is coming across as... Um, you know, kind of immature, young at heart. They could have children as well that could be some way, shape, or form affecting them and how they handle this. Maybe they feel like their hands are tied because they have children and that somehow plays into this. Um, we do got some child cards here, six cups, page, a couple of pages here. Some cute confusion there. Maybe it's a lack of clarity uh, in terms of does somebody want to have a family or whatnot. Just something to do with children as well. But I feel like this person is available to get physical, that's for sure. I think they are available to talk to you, to flirt with you. Um, they do like you. Uh, and so um, what's in their heart space towards you, I don't know. Yeah, they love you. And so, okay, this person actually does love you. But their approach to it would be just to reach out. I mean, maybe if you guys are apart, them even just, you know reaching out, sending you a text message, uh, sending you a text message or something like that, making some sort of effort towards you. Even that would be a big deal, right? Um, it would mean a potential beginning for this relationship. Um, so, oh wow. So you are dealing with a very romantic individual getting Libra and Scorpio vibes here with this Knight of Cups. And this person's coming back around, okay? Uh, I really feel like you know this person, but there's a chance that for some of you watching general reading, you might not know this person, but this person's uh, a charmer, very, very charming. Um, the thing is, so it is showing like this person is kind of feel like their hands are tied right now. They do want to reach out and plan to and will take action for many of you this you're reading, right? I'm not going to keep saying that. Take action in terms of some small gesture. This person does love you, have a lot of feelings for you, okay? And they are romantic feelings in case you were wondering. Um, but let's see what yeah, and then, but then they're going to go ahead and go with it. I'm getting strong Piscean energy here. I got Piscean energy for somebody last time I think I read. Um, so maybe check out my channel to see, you know, if any of those readings resonate for you. Like the last reading that I did, check out my last reading if you didn't watch it already. Um, I think that was feelings and um, messages from the person. We're not going to get messages today, but um, that's what I'm getting. But it could be any sign. It does feel like... This person is somebody that is going to come into your life and then um, potentially, well, they're probably going to, it's a knight, so knight's going to swoop in, seduce, and um, you're going to have to keep your eyes open and pay attention because this person is very seductive, very skilled, um, and they could leave you very confused and disappointed, especially if they have a habit of doing that. Um, so you're just going to have to keep your wits about you with this. It's going to be a wait and see type situation. Like, of course, you don't have to entertain anything that you don't want to entertain. But this is what's coming through, you know, for you right now. Okay. So they'll go back into the hangman energy. And maybe that's just who they are as a person. Okay. They need to, they come in, they're seductive, they love you, or at the very least care a ton about you. Um, and are very attracted to you. But then they have to go in and then introvert, right? And they have to like sacrifice something here. Um, and I feel like it has to, it's to do with like sacrificing um, themselves. You know, it doesn't make them happy to be apart from you. Whoever I'm reading for, you know, there's kind of a specific reading, like I said at the beginning. Um, so it may only apply to a handful, might apply to more than that. But whoever I'm reading for, this person, it, it doesn't feel good for them to be apart from you, but they need to be apart so that they can go within, listen to their intuition, their inner voice. You know, sometimes the inner voice is kind of hard to hear. Um, even for a very intuitive, like Knight of Cups, which is an intuitive energy. Um, so anyway, they go within and they take their time and it is a sacrifice for them to be apart from you when that happens. Okay. So it's not just you being maybe annoyed, especially if you're somebody that wants to be with them all the time or you just want more consistency with them. 
um, they're also kind of, you know, they're not really thrilled about the fact that they have to um, press pause, essentially, um, in order to, you know, figure things out. It does make them feel, um, I mean, they miss your, miss the connection with you, okay? So, yeah, there's that. Anything else? Very good reading overall, okay? So this person, this is coins, four coins, and the lovers, what they are going to do is be reciprocating, but they're going to see how you behave and like they're going to reciprocate in kind. So kind of a tit for tat energy, but not in a negative way. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. You do for me, I'll get, I'll do for you. A mutually beneficial situation. Um, since their natural nature or somebody's natural nature here is four of pentacles, um, it, then there is that tendency to be extremely charming and then a little bit, I don't want to say cold, but remote or removed, emotionally unavailable, go within. Could have to do with other responsibilities, practical details of life. Some of them have children. Um, some of them just have to, are focusing on making their money. Um, and I do get this kind of clingy energy. So maybe somebody here has a tendency to become clingy in a relationship. And so they remain guarded or they like take a step back in a way to kind of like gatekeep themselves, gatekeep themselves so that they can prevent themselves become, from falling into a codependent pattern. Because the truth is this person loves you, feels a soulmate connection with you. And um, that very that's very positive for a relationship. The only thing with this is um, that you would want to, you know, again, just think about the lover's energy talks about thinking about how much you like this person. Like, how do you feel about this person? How do you feel about the relationship? I get so many calls. Where people are just like, how do they feel about me? How do they feel about me? How do they feel about me? Well, what do they want from me? Or why are they doing this? You know, it's like, you're, you know, you have to recognize your power. You're not a victim. And how do you feel about them? You know, and, and when I would turn that back on the client, a lot of times they'll be just kind of like, I don't know, because they treated me X, Y, and Z. And it's like, well, see, that's that's where you need to start. So the Lovers is a very positive card talking about romantic love, relationship, um, and mutual feelings of affection and love. Um, but it's also a card that says, you know, how do you feel about, um, how do you feel about um, this person and what they have to offer, Okay. The advice is to go within, heal. If this person has a tendency to withdraw, utilize that time for yourself to withdraw as well and go within and heal. Um, with the Hermit energy, oh, we've got Gemini and Virgo here and some more Earth. That's Taurus and Capricorn too. Regardless of sign, go within and um, that's how you're going to hear your inner voice. Okay, So um, this could be a real opposites attract type situation. It could be same sex. It doesn't have to be. If it is same sex, it could be that somebody is on the fence as to whether or not they want to go down that route. They'd actually be bisexual. Don't have to be. But there's some sort of confusion and hesitation here. We've also got Sagittarius and Aries energy could be dominant. I'm just looking at um, Brokeback Mountain on the lover's card. So there was a little bit of kind of like confusion or like hesitation between these two um, as they try to figure out, you know, how they're going to make it work. And the advice to figure out how it's going to make it work is to really help yourself first and take the time that you need and figure out what you want and your path forward and what's really going to make you happy. And along the way, you can help people and you can like share what you've learned. But the essential person that you need to be focusing on is you. Okay. So hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It does support the channel and help to keep it going. Keeps me coming back to do more readings for you guys. And if you'd like a private reading, my email is in the description box. And there's still that. Uh, five minutes for $1 on Keen. That's linked down below as well. Okay. So for those watching group two. One, one more message from this person. Elvis Presley. So you could really be dealing with, um, you know, somebody from, um, mm, somebody you're in a uh, separation from, somebody that you miss, they miss you. Again, when you guys are in separation, this person, I felt it before, now I'm really feeling it, gets depressed. They could even struggle with anxiety and or depression, like clinically. 
um, but this is what it's talking about. So this is The Ghetto by Elvis um, Presley, and it is a, it is a card of black. Um, it is talking about like financial hardship as well. And it is talking about to somebody achieving something in life in a practical sense, like getting their money up, getting some you know, financial or material stability, but then finding like something is missing. Okay. Something is missing and they feel sad and just like it didn't pay off. It didn't, it didn't turn out to be what they thought it would be or wanted it to be. So that can resonate for someone out there too. But, um, you could look up that song. It could have some resonance there as well. Um, but this is what I'm getting for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It does support the channel and help to keep it going. You can stick around for group three or check out the playlist link down below for a different reading. And uh, I intend it resonated and offered you something helpful at least. And we're going to go to group three. Thanks for watching. I'm so drawn always to my Art Deco Tarot. I just am obsessed with this deck. All right. Welcome, Group 3. Thanks for tuning in. So if you chose Square Challenge, this is your reading. So evidently you're dealing with some difficulty in your love life or with the person of interest, some sort of stall, tension. And that seems to be the theme of the day. You know, no relationship is perfect, but you could be dealing with some... Um, hurtful situation maybe trying to reconcile with someone whether that means you know get back together with someone or just you know make up after an argument take it how it resonates it's a general reading energies can be vice versa or interchangeable so keep that in mind this is more like a collective reading today where i'm just picking up on kind of specific energies might not resonate fully with everyone so just take the messages that are meant for you the ones that resonate okay I contend that if you're here, there is a message for you of value. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started and kind of look at your love life group three for everyone watching group three and just kind of what do we need to know about that spirit? What do we need to know about that? Felt one turn over, I thought. Yes. Okay. So we've got the seven of cups. So you could be a water sign. Okay. Could be a Pisces. Don't have to be. You could be dealing with somebody like that. This is a card about projections, um, in this case, romantic projections, since this card was designed with romantic readings in mind, since that's the majority of what I do. So this is romantic projections. Um, a lack of clarity. Okay, this is a dark room with a romantic movie off in the uh, other side of the room. So, um, but it looks like they're a little bit tense in that as well. So, there, I mean, that reflects well. There's some tension that comes with um, not knowing um, maybe having options or things being unsettled, just confusion, like maybe you had a sweet connection with someone or you do currently have, this is past energy though, you had a key, like sweet connection with someone, maybe they even had soulmate energy and then it got confusing and you lost your way, they lost their way or something surprising happened, um, maybe somebody had more options to choose from and that can, got confusing, it just got messy in some way, love life has been messy, you could even be talking about you just have had a lot of loves in your life, been in a lot of relationships, um, it doesn't even have to be like actual relationships with the seven of cups, it could be um, fantasy relationships even as well okay somebody has a very active imagination but it's been misused so it's important your imagination creates reality it's important that you focus on the scenarios and the themes and the stories that you want to manifest and stuff so what's the present energy between um, these two their person of interest and them so you know since most who watch I do have a person of interest but even if you don't that present energy is justice seeing the truth okay so it's like a cold, hard wake-up call. And this could even be your present energy in love, okay? A cold, hard wake-up call, uh, making a judgment, seeing the truth, and wanting to do the right thing. Maybe not exactly knowing what the right thing is. Um, 
you could even have ended something or you're putting an end to something somebody's putting an end to something transformation it is transformation season actually it's Scorpio season that's all about transformation changes um, it does include endings so that something new can grow and something new can happen it's also a card in relationships that means like old patterns aren't working so even if you're not in a relationship it's about like whatever you were doing before that led to the seven of cups you are realizing you know you have to do it right this time or somebody has to do it right this time it does feel like yeah, it definitely feels like the viewer that I'm talking to um, you just want to get it right of course you do you know you don't want to suffer any more confusion you don't want to not know um, I had such a confused individual call me the other day and I'm not giving names so it's anonymous it's okay and this person literally had like five or six people that they wanted to ask about um and they didn't have enough time because you know, very often clients don't have enough time you have to understand that if you want you know uh, um and more in-depth reading you have to allow for more time um but we did get through quite a bit fortunately for them and but we just every time we would an i would answer a question as to what's going to happen what's likely to happen with this person then okay boom next person boom next person i'm like oh my goodness um that's the problem you know to trying too many things and trying too many people all at once like you need to slow down and you know not want it so badly um, just kind of relax. I mean, if you're just in the dating phase, there's nothing wrong with that. And this person was, but it was their energy that said that, you know, they were just scrambling, kind of scrambling, you know? So, um, that was Libra energy. I mean, that person was a Libra, Libra and Scorpio cusp. So I think that, you know, this is saying, even if that's not your story, that's an example that you understand that there is some changes, some relationship pattern, patterns or ways of doing things that certainly have not served you. And um, so you're putting an end to that, which is good. So going forward, what does things look like? Mr. King of Cups, okay. Okay, yeah. You moody, beautiful bastard. <laughs> um, this person could have Capricorn in their chart as well. They could be a Capricorn. Uh, flip side of the Cancer. Um, but even if they are not any of those signs, this is an emotional individual coming into your life. Okay, are they already in your life? Cool, this person's going to be around a while. If you don't have someone like that, they're coming in. This is future energy. And what are they doing? Wow. This person admires you so much. That's what they're doing. They're like totally admiring you. You could um, have a platform. You could be very influential in a positive way in your community. Um, maybe they are watching you from a distance. Maybe this person is presently in your life. If they're not looking up to you and admiring you, they're they are going to do so um, in the future, okay? This person really thinks that you're beautiful. They know that you have been through a lot. And that makes sense because the star comes after the tower. And the tower is very similar to the death card because it's about transformation. You know, endings are um, tough. You know, change is generally very tough <laughs> for most people. And But in this case, you know, the star comes out the other side. Still has hope. Um, still um, has a lot to offer. Um, it's like the wounded healer energy, but it has a way of saying the right things, doing the right things to help other people, not just themselves. And I think that this person will see hope in you and feel like, um, you know, you just offer hope and you're a symbol of renewal and you're somebody that gets over things and you're somebody that has inner clarity, which we already saw that here, um, with the justice card about getting clear about stuff, no longer being confused, getting clear about stuff. This person's going to see that in you and they're going to appreciate that. It might feel like, they might feel like you are a miracle. Um, also, you could be um, dealing with somebody that's literally a star, like somebody that's popular, uh, you know, well-known, something along those lines. I think you both are popular, well-known, and things like that. So you might not be a literal, literal like celebrity, or they might not, but I feel like you guys are, are, are well-matched. And this person is going to want to make an offer to you. Um, and it looks like it's going to start off as like dating and it's going to start off pretty, um, you know, surface level. I mean, you're not going to jump in. This person's a very deeply feeling person, though they often don't show, um, you know, their emotions. So, um, whoever this king of cups is. So it makes sense to me that they would start off at the level of the page of pentacles going forward, but you are going to value what they have to offer. Okay. And you're going to feel generous towards them. They're going to feel generous towards you, but you're, you're both going to be smart in terms of like not overgiving. 
not oversharing, not over giving, only just giving, you know, what you're receiving and so that it's a fair relationship. So, um, and that looks good. Wow. So you guys are probably going to marry this person. It's really good reading, very positive. I'm seeing that. It's really awesome. With the Ten of Cups coming out, it's talking about a lot of love between the two of you. It's total emotional fulfillment. It's um, having a family or just like a relationship that, yeah, there, I mean, it's, it's a family. It's a family card. Now, if you don't have children, you know, that doesn't mean you can't have a family. You'll have pets. You'll have friends around that are, you know, it's just talking about including other people in your joy and your happiness because you really are going to have a lot of joy and happiness with this person this is someone that um you know has graduated from the level of just being like a lover boy or a lover girl this is someone that um still has those qualities very seductive but more mature which is what you want um so this person is um showing up as you know a really good person they could have strong um air in their chart also, I could be talking to an Aquarius or um, somebody that has strong Aquarius in their chart as well, okay? So, what I feel like, this is a very, very lucky card. It's like this relationship, if it doesn't result in marriage, you will more, more than likely be living together. You will more than likely be feeling like you are each other's family. It's a very, very lucky card. It's a very, very enjoyable card. There really is no downside to this, especially in the outcome position. The changes that you're making to your ways of interacting um, or within a relationship really um, and truly pay off. And this person is seeing that you are a changed person um, and like you're the star and the apple of their eye. And if this person, if we're talking about one person and doesn't show, um, didn't show up as reciprocating in the past, or if they had a lot of different options, you know, they're going to choose you. And if you both had a lot of options, you're going to choose um, them. If this is somebody that you don't know, they're going to fit this description. Um, the Ten of Cups with the Star is an extremely lucky combination. Okay. It's like one of the luckiest combinations to come out in love reading. It's all about... Um, just a lot of happiness and but also it being grounded so it, it doesn't have as much of the energy of say the lover's card where it's like yes it's going to be this very passionate you know love relationship um, where you feel like soulmates and but your opposites kind of and so there are challenges within it and stuff and obstacles to overcome um, this is just pure um happiness but with one foot on the ground so it has that going for it whereas some of the other romantic cards don't that's why the lover's card in um, the heartstrings tarot is um, represented by I think it well it is it's represented by a song by meatloaf but I don't remember I think it's by the dashboard lights it's a very um, kind of a wild song um, listen to it if if you feel guided to um, but you know if you're curious but that energy doesn't apply to this I'm just letting you know the distinction um, between the lovers and the ten of cups okay um, this is just really wonderful and um, it's coming from this king of cups energy and it's just really all about um, you know clearing away the garbage that you've had to deal with in the past and making way for prosperity that's including financially um, but also just abundance within a relationship where you just your cups runneth over you're both very fulfilled and happy with one another let's get you an advice card we've got the king of wands so you might be a fire sign have it strong in your chart don't have to And I think this is also talking again about the relationship with the, between the two of you. What's he saying? It's a very determined individual. So whatever challenges that might exist, because all relationships do have those kind of challenges, um, this person will be extremely determined to overcome those. And with the fiery passion of the King of Wands, I mean, um, that's the eye of the tiger. That's, that's the eye of the tiger. That's his song. So um, he's just going to rise to the occasion and fight for this. Um, relationship and really make it work and I don't feel like it's going to be within the relationship that there are going to be so many challenges there might it might be a long distance thing there might be you know something like that somebody travels for work or something like that um, it might be related to the career or um, 
because I don't feel like it has to do with this relationship being so challenging unless this is maybe a relationship that has history and you know all that I do feel like this has more to do with um, this person's energy and who they are um, but this person is you know a lot and I feel like they bloom and they blossom whoops excuse me um, they bloom and they blossom wow into the emperor they they move forward they improve they improve in their thinking they escape you know old ways of being that did not serve them they make it happen so if it doesn't seem like you know this person is going to be expressive or they're not expressive the king of cups can you know be um you know um someone that keeps their feelings to themselves or doesn't talk a lot you know strong silent type uh, this person is changing part of being the emperor is somebody is being somebody that can communicate their wants needs and expectations and how they feel and things like that this person is really coming into that divine masculine energy so they're going to go through that phases and i feel like this is a result of the relationship and they're really going to want to do it for you as well as for themselves um uh so they're looking to self-improve this person and i think you are as well because we saw that earlier but i feel like um yeah you're both looking to kind of fill fill the gaps as to what you feel has been missing in your love lives um so this is somebody that you're really going to want to hold on to your hat this person is going to be much more exciting and interesting than you think that they are maybe at first at first um appearances um because once they get comfortable with you more of this fiery energy comes out and it's just a real romance this person's gonna be a lot of fun and this is a great reading i mean i think it's a great reading None of the readings have been particularly sour today, so I'm grateful for that. Sometimes the readings are more challenging, and, you know, it happens, but not today. I feel like these readings are very hopeful um, and show, you know, people that actually reciprocate or want to reciprocate your love, affection, and attention, and or is somebody that's coming in like that. So let's get a card for the viewers of group three. One, one last message for them about this. We've got the four of cups and the ten of pentacles. We've also got the six of swords popping out as well. So you got three. So the four of cups is about, um, I am, ro I am a rock. I am an island. So that is um, Paul Simon, I believe. Let me just double check. So I feel like that's what somebody has been like, you know, somebody's like, I don't need anybody else or I want to keep my emotions to myself. So that's what I was talking about. There is this aspect to this, your person, I feel. Yeah, I am a rock, Paul Simon. Um, very strong individual, but they are not going to open up easily. And maybe you've offered your love to this person or your pattern is to offer love and then they don't reciprocate or act like they care. Uh, maybe, you know, people have done that and you have acted like you didn't care when you did. It can be vice versa. But that's coming out to say, like what I said before, that um, it's going to ultimately end up in a solid relationship and or marriage, most likely marriage here. Are we getting Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups again? Yes, we are. So a rare combination to come out. Got this in two readings. So... Um, talking about, um, you know, creating new traditions together, um, building a life together, um, having financial prosperity, having a home, including others in your happiness. Um, I'm getting somebody may take in a, a family member, or like a parent or something. So that will be something that we'll need to deal with as well. So regular practical down to earth issues, everyday issues of a relationship, um, but of a committed relationship. So if you want to be committed and married to somebody, this card bodes very well and looks very solid because, um, you're moving forward, you're escaping a pattern of where maybe you've dealt with people out of mind games or who have mistreated you or just have been very com conflicted relationships um, where it's not a good energy. And you're moving forward with the Six of Swords and I feel like this person is moving forward too. Um, to better days ahead, right? Um, so that's basically what the Six of Swords is. Just a necessary transition. You could be relocating and moving together or this person moves to you, you move to them. Um, there's something about moving here, but it's definitely about um, people moving their mindset to a more positive mindset about things. So this is what I've got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like private reading, my contact information is in the description box down below. You can email me or check out that link for $1 for 5 minutes on Keen. And thanks for watching.